Right, since my camcorder had decided to uh, die on me, I had a nice little set of pickies for you to uh, to show you uh, on YouTube. <coughs> Couldn't get them off. It's still on there. I just can't get them off it. Anyway, um, it's now on a bit of chipboard. It's not fixed. I've just placed it on there. The reason why is I was more interested in getting these diodes um, sorted out. I did actually have this bridge rectifier um, set up to it, but it uh, literally exploded on me. Um, hang on a moment. Yeah. Oh, you can't. Oh, it only you can just about see a split right down there. I'll just see if I can shine it slightly. See that little, not the dot in the middle, the one, the, the slash on the top, in, on the top of the actual diode itself. I don't know if you can see that flashy bit. There's a crack right down the middle of it. You might actually see the crack. I'm not sure. Anyway, that's kaput. But what I've decided to use, um, I was going to use these. These came out of um, uh, the microwave oven. Um, but they, it, it, when I was testing them, what I did is I powered this up and I connected it to um, obviously the right way round. Hang on a minute, you know what? It is the right way round. Uh, to one of them, one of the leads. And put me um, my test meter on it, and I was getting hardly any voltage coming out. I have no idea about the current. I'm not that clever yet, um, but it was it was hardly anything coming out. But what I have decided to use, and it seems to be working so far. I don't know if you can see them. Those, they are out of um, an alternator, a car alternator. It's the diodes inside them. They were given a, a, a reasonable voltage um, when I did the same test. You know, left one exposed, uh, connected one lead of me, uh, uh, me ammeter, digital. Where's that gone? There it is, back there. Yeah. Um, I got one one of the one lead on uh, oh it was actually it was a black lead on this one and I just um, connected up one side I don't know I can't remember which one it was uh, to the um, the other clip of me ammeter and I literally just touched um, the other lead and it gave me quite a reasonable voltage anyway it was all made a little my own little bridge rectifier and that uh, these leads here are actually connected up to this now and what I've done here if I can get it out there you go this was the original battery and I've stripped it down it's quite funny but I had to split this to get this cap off and it exposed them, three of them. I've got the, hang on, here's two of them. Now the other one, the final one, which was buried deep down the end, had a different kind of connector on the end. It actually had the connector that's currently inside there. So with a bit of, um, careful sp splicing I, I managed to uh, break off actually I split split the whole thing and expose the I think it's lithium they call it I'm assuming it's what it's called it's metal metal strips that went around in a coil um, and I managed to peel off the um, thing off the end and then I hot glued the whole. Th this, this hot glue filled up right up to about there. Once I soldered it to that, um, one lead is connected to the the shell of the battery case, and obviously the other lead 
is connected to that nice shiny bit in the middle and then I filled the whole thing up with hot glue warmed up with tad and now that's pretty solid fitteth in there if it can go in properly oh god not easy one ended is it are we in? yeah we are now if we power up that's the I don't know what speed that is there you go a bit more up <laughs> there you go. Um, after doing a bridge rectifier, I even got slower on one dial. Hold on, oh, you can. I leave that running. definitely with with a bridge it's definitely more powerful um, if you have it over obviously a single um, diode you get no hardly any power it's only I think it was three volts I got out of this but this one I was getting in fact I'll show you yeah, let me pause this a second All right, well there you go that's 2.5 uh, 57 volts on the single diode bloody end and if I change it to the obviously the bridge rectifier and I can put it on there there you go I'm now getting when it's rising so it might be a bit dodgy connection there but there you go it's hovering sorry about the wavy bit it's my heater because it, it, it's blooming cold in here it's the oscillation of the the, the fan in there. If I was to change that to that one, I'm getting different voltages all over the place. There we go. 3.2. Yeah. That's the full bridge. I might need to put um, a capacitor in line, so um, I don't know, I need to have a de decent sized capacitor I think. But anyway, I'm fully functional, which is what I wanted. If I, what did I do there? Yeah, I've just exposed the wires at the moment. This, this, this is the other end of, um, there's a black two black wires the one with a strip on it is the negative line and one without the strip on it is a positive line um, yeah take that off there put that on there there we go It's not very powerful. I'm not supposed. I mean, if I could look at that, <laughs> it's knackered. <laughs> it's not even connected, so I'm getting power, free energy from somewhere. Anyway, um, I'm wondering if I can I'll give you any kind of justice that to. There we go. I'm wondering if I can. Uh, there's enough cable here just about to uh, pass it round one more time I think and I'm hoping so I can get um, a lot, uh, more power more voltage to give that more stick hopefully I won't, even, I won't burn the battery out anyway there you go end of project yeah I did so. I had also um, uh, on my camcorder, which I managed to get off before it died. The information about uh, Betsy here. 
it's just hanging on the wall it's not actually do <laughs> it, it's not intended to stay on the wall it's uh, its intention is to put it on a bench for you to use or for me to use yeah well that's the other project okay bye bye